perspective because it does get cold here. So thank you for coming. And let's go ahead and actually take it all the way on our back this evening. So we're just laying down all the way on our back. We're taking it all the way down on our back. I'm gonna make sure you don't see other things on the city. So just all the way down on our mat, everyone. Thank you, yeah, just laying down. And just begin to notice your breath, just the quality of your breath. Is it shallow? Are you just kind of beginning here and settling in Maybe for the next two to three minutes? You can start regulating, self-regulating. I love that word, your inhale. And your exhale and that just begins with noticing if you can breathe into your lower belly right around your belly button and i just can imagine just kind of riding a slow slow drifting wave or imagining this beautiful feather just drifting down from the heavens to the ground so that breath is just super slow, like sifting sand in an hourglass as you inhale, super slow. And then just letting that exhale not shoot out, but just regulate at a count of seven to 10. So just regulating the breath. So we take these three to four minutes just to calm down our central nervous system. So we're just taking and getting medicine for our body using the life force and yogic tradition of the word prana, life force of breath. Life force of breath, just breathing in and out. Continuing to follow that inhale, expanding through the lower last rib. So that last rib is really expanding. And again, you can visualize yourself floating on a raft in a still lake. That's another beautiful metaphor, just watching that still on a quiet lake, quieting your down. So as we engage with oxygen, releasing that carbon dioxide, we will have a better practice. So taking these three to five minutes, and now maybe that you've got your breath down, let's just see if we can just start melting our bones, our skin, and the weight of our body into our mat. So we feel very heavy and safe and stable. So yin yoga, we hold these poses for three to five minutes to get into the ligaments, tendons, joint capsules, even actually into the bones themselves. So we're actually slowly adjusting the cartilage, the bones, by holding these poses longer. Nice. So you're on your back. Just bring your hands all the way overhead. Bring your hands all the way overhead. Nice, beautiful. Hands come over all the way, big full body stretch. Big full body stretch. And opening again through that lung meridian in your heart. Do you know maybe any cortisol today from the stress hormone that got inside the ventricles of your heart? Let that go through the exhale. Any stress that's been accumulating today. Just breathing it out, all the way out. And 
continue that full body stretch, lengthening through the toes, drawing the fingers all the way towards the way from the toes. And you can even imagine in the good old days, someone grabbing your feet, grabbing your hands and just giving you a nice stretch all the way from the ligaments at the base of your feet to the tops of your fingers. So that full body stretch. Bring the arms around and come into our first limb pose, bring the knees into the chest and just step along the front. And just follow the breath. Notice if you lost yourself in thought and come back to the rock and the breath. So rock and breath. Just bring your knees into the chest. And this is a beautiful primordial move of just rocking side to side. We, our mother and our womb rock side to side. We carry our baby side to side, rocking, rocking. Comfort, like a slow rocking boat on a calm ocean, just lulling you to deep relaxation. Maybe in this moment you give yourself grace and forgiveness and comfort. There's something you need to say, oh, sweetie, this was a tough day, or I love you. So giving yourself that self-love and self-comfort. And just notice how if you can accept and love yourself in this moment, your cortisol levels go down also. So really using neuroscience in our yoga now. So, yes softening through the lips and the mouth and the jaw and then just let your knees drift to the left side now knees can just come to the left side and then from there once they're stacked on top just extend that top leg all the way out nice and slowly beautiful So we're getting into the piriformis, into the side of the IT band. Those arms can come all the way out, cross pose, and then just draw the scapula away from the shoulders. So we're really adjusting that upper back, upper body, just drawing the shoulder blades away from the ears. stretch by just reaching over with our hand and just giving our side of our ET band, IT band a little move, yeah. Maybe even doing a little rub into the piriformis. Now take that opposite arm all the way overhead again, stretching through the side ribs. Notice if thoughts come in to distract you, like yang thoughts or Y-A-N-G, and those would be like problem-solving thoughts or um, aggressive, aggressive thoughts, like something you don't like. How are you gonna change things or fix things? So stay with your breath, stay in the yin of surrender tonight. Just let go, just let go of it all. Yeah, just let it go of it all, just letting go. Continue to soften into the pose. Just 
a little longer in that twist. Leg is across. Notice what the eyes are doing. Just soften through the eye sockets if you're looking at something. See if you can soften your gaze. So there's no squinting, but it's just soft eyes, soft mouth. Even a soft heart, let that heart soften. Slowly from that, come all the way around, bring the knees back into the chest to the other side. So we're just coming and rolling across, softly rocking the body again. Softening that rock and then just gently let the knees come to the other side and just release that opposite leg for that twist. And again, see if you can expand through the rib cage, deepen the breath, deeper into the lower belly. thinking about something in the future or dwelling on something in the past and come back to your body. Like, oh, there's my toe. There's my breath. There's my heartbeat. If there's emotions coming up, just let them come up through the heart and release through the body. Oh, through the exhale. Soften through the tongue, even taking the tongue behind the two front teeth. Continue to follow that exhale all the way out like that beautiful little feather just floating back down to the ground, just drifting and floating. Keeping the throat open, notice if there's any closure tonight of the throat and it seems like in COVID days we're just kind of with the mask and everything we're closing down that throat chakra so coughing <clears throat> especially if in your house relieving any phlegm opening up the mouth to breathe occasionally letting a sigh out side there can come emotions like a release of like oh i've been holding this for so long <laughs> so letting the body feel the laughter or the joy or the tears or the sorrow whatever's coming up tonight so from that twist just coming back to the center and just take the right foot down and the left foot down. Let's come up into bridge. And let's support that bridge. If we have a pillow or a bolster or block. I'm on some grass and I'm just grabbing my mat and I'm just gonna roll it up and just place it right into the sacrum and just kind of stay there, having something underneath in the prop. And again, let's tonight bring those arms all the way overhead again to open up the sternum, the chest, the heart. And I mentioned this before, when we bring our hands overhead, the joy can come rushing in again. It's like we're opening up to the world again, saying, okay, I'm here, I'll receive the gifts. Yeah. Arms are overhead, nice joy with those deep two blocks. Again, continue softening. Notice if clenching comes in again, any kind of uh, jaw clenching or thought clenching. Uh, 
eyes are soft. You're grounding through all four corners of your feet. Notice if there's any lifting or there's um, a disparity between all four corners of your feet. Notice if your mind is thinking about when is this going to be over, what am I going to do, and just half of this practice of yin is to work with our mind and mindfulness, body meditation, yeah, beautiful, holding that bridge. We've got a beautiful little soft breeze here tonight, it's just so lovely. Not too cold, it's not too hot. Perfect night for the yin. <laughs> yeah. And you know, just this feeling is such a rush, I get tingles of how blessed we are to have this space and share our virtual, you know, with all of our clubs. Lewis and I were Lewis and I were talking about that, how great it is. Breath in, breath out, holding that bridge just another 30 seconds, seeing if you need to adjust, lifting, squeezing your tush. Slowly coming down. Just taking the knees out and then just lifting your upper body, walking up. And it may take a little bit of energy to get up because we were so relaxed down. So we're from here, we just walk ourselves up. And let's come into that bound angle and just bring and grabbing our toes and then just kind of rocking side to side. Got lots of birds tonight. A nice breath in. You can close your eyes softly. Just come into a little semi meditation here and bound angle, and then just draw the heels in closer. And then just looking down slightly at your thumbs. Using that exhale, following it. And then take a nice inhale here as you inhale. And see if you can inhale through the crown of your head and exhale, drop into the sacrum. So inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. You feel your upper back, your spine. And then exhale, ground. Inhale, lengthen through the whole crown of your head. Just imagine someone pulling your crown all the way up. And exhale, ground. Beautiful. Just another couple reps or rounds of that visualization of inhale, lengthen. So shoulders drop away from the ears. Exhale, ground into the sit bones. And then from there, just slowly begin taking the elbows into the into the crevices and then just drawing out and then just stop like i just slow notice like i went oh like oh my si joint what's going on here just notice if you need to stop and pause again so we're really comforting ourselves and not forcing so we're just stopping and really getting in touch with the intricate details of our body like oh so it's almost like when you're cooking and you're tasting every flavor and you've never tasted that subtle flavor of, you know, anise, like a licorice or a, a certain kind of pepper. And you're like, what is that? And you're curious, what is that? It 
you're a foodie and your tongue is alive, you're like, oh, I love that flavor. What is that? So take your time to savor the flavors of what your body is speaking to you. And sometimes it may not be a flavor you like. You might go, oh, oh. or it's like, oh. So right now we are into the inner adductors right in here, into the inner psoas, into the pubic bone right there, and the lower SI joint, the outer hips. And let's just spend one minute in some silence with some music softening. <laughs> The breath should be in the back of the throat, kind of a throaty exhale. This is just like, just almost like letting air out of the tire. It's that. And any time there's discomfort you can maybe move out of it just a little bit and then come back so we're not forcing we're not pushing just noticing that little perfect spot and then holding and then maybe coming out a little bit and the brain loves us to kind of come in touch those spots that are a little more discomfortable and then just come out and then back off and the breath will assist us with that. So the breath is really the ally to all of this. Beautiful. I'm just releasing. Nice, and just straighten the legs out. Nice flex of the feet. And let's just take the shoulders up, down, and back. So nice. Let's take a nice upward prayer. Really extending through the fingertips. Drop the chin into the chest. And really reach back. Breath is really needed here as we take that inhale, exhale. Take and just draw the hands down. Come up on the back fingertips and again, in fact, let's do the knuckles actually. That's going to be better. So then just come here and hold, walk the hands in. Yeah. And then draw the shoulder blades back together. Again, if you feel that stretch reflex kind of kicking into your brain, which mine is, um, soften the shoulders down and come to the deeper breath. I've got a couple little baby tiny flies around me right now. Yeah, nice, beautiful, Jordan. Nice, nice. Options, you can just change the hands so the fingertips go away from the glutes. So it depends on your wrist. If your wrists are, you might want to knuckle. If the wrists, you can turn out and stretch your fingertips back by spreading all 10 fingers and then pressing through the thumb and continue to spread the hands and ground through that thumb because you're just really getting a nice stretch for the back of the hands. Just open through the heart to really lengthening and lifting through the sternum. Again, 
if it feels too much, like it feels I'm just going to take a quick break, just let my belly flop, breath in, and then come back again. Exhale, yeah. Really having to the muscles sticking to the bones to release and open up the scapula. And let's just release. Take the right arm across the body today and just hold here. Just really lean into that shoulder opener. You can take and use the lever of the elbow joint and bring that in and just kind of come across. We're not going to hold this as the end, but I just think it's just it's so nice to just open up the side of the shoulder, stretching that shoulder. And the lats. And behind the shoulder girdle. Yeah. Let's take the other side across. And stay with your mind in that part of your body. So, like, what's the left side and right side that would be different? Different, and maybe lean into it a little deeper. Feel the rise and fall of your belly. All right, below your sternum. Take that upward prayer again, all the way up. Flex the toes back. Take a little back bend again. Really sit on those sit bones. Flex the feet back. Let's take that forward fold. Now we're going to hold this as our yin. So reaching past the toes. Hold here. Yeah, so you're feeling this, this the attachment of the base of this hamstring running down all the way through to your feet when it feels appropriate. A couple things you can just bend your knees to protect your back. Your hamstrings are tight. Some of you may be right here. See if you can bring your belly in and round out your back a little bit. I'm taking a religious studies class, two of them, and one of them is Asian studies. We're studying all about India, and so I'm excited to learn Sanskrit so I can start um, knowing more of what these poses. And my instructor is very adamant that um, Hinduism or Vedic is not yoga. <laughs> He's just like, all you yoga teachers. <laughs> I am right no matter what. I have my PhD, okay? So he's very, like, I think he's got a lot of yoga teachers that have come into the class and taken it. So I'm very open. So let's just be open to everything and come in with the mind of a child, with curiosity, as opposed to absolutism. And as we come with curiosity, we soften again and create that yin energy of just, ah. Yeah, continue that forward fold. You can bend through the elbows. Happy you have a golden light behind you. You look so beautiful. It's like this little angel, gorgeous, creeping sun. And I'm not going to show Kathy, but I'm going to show you how beautiful it is here while you're holding that forward fold. This is our view tonight. Beautiful. Just another 30 seconds holding this forward fold. And again, anytime you need to bend your knees and come out, get a little water. This is the mountain to the west towards the ocean. And just feeling this blessing that we have, this beautiful space to be in. So from that forward fold, let's take it to be a better view. From this forward fold, ooh, yeah. 
I'm going to take, um, we're not going to use this as a yin, but I just want to reverse that. And let's just come up into a reverse table. So we're grounding through the feet. Not going to be here for a yin. This is pretty um, intense for the strength, but we're just holding this nice table to reverse all those forward motions. Yeah. And again, if this doesn't feel comfortable, you can just come down here and just hold here. So there's options. Just another five or 10 seconds here. And we're just gonna walk the feet in. And that might take a little bit of strength to walk in. Some of you get there however you wanna get there because we're just gonna hop into that lower Hindi pose. I know, get there however you get there. Yeah. You can even kind of stand up and come around. And then we're just in this lower balance pose of Hindi. And just bring all 10 fingers together just as a mudra of calm. It's like, okay. And if this doesn't feel good, then you can just come right down on your knees and then have a nice stretch in your toes. That feels so good. Hindi. Beautiful. And let's just drop on our knees, coming up on our knees. Yeah. We're going to come into a modified camel. Um, so we haven't done this in a while. So our intention is to open up the um, psoas. I'm just going to take a little back bend. And I don't like to do full camel, even half camel, because of my lower spine. So you just take it. I'm going to just come right here. And if quads are contracted, just come even down. Some of you may want to take full camel, and that would be taking, and this is half camel. Full camel is where you take your hands down to your ankles and lean back. I am not going to do that because I can always feel that camel is a very challenging pose to do immediately. So notice if you feel the same thing, that you feel that full camel. Really supporting the SI joint, which is right there where the rounding of the back happens. Beautiful. Extending through the belly. We're going to take from here, that's about, we're going to take a gate pose tonight. We're going to extend that right foot out. Right. We're going to take the gate pose. So you may notice, you know, the knobbiness of your knees. If you need to roll up a, a, a mat or have even a pillow underneath you feel so good. So I'm going to go grab my mat. Yeah. So we want to find all the comfort we can in the end. So that means taking a seat way more comfortable, way more comfortable for us. I could be here for an hour now, but it's taking. So anytime your brain says, that's uncomfortable, there's something wrong. What's wrong? And then find that solution in your home around you. And the solution may be just coming into child's pose right now, right? But taking that slide gate. And again, I'm going to come in and out just because holding that gate is a little more um, uncomfortable than I'd like. I'm just going to come back and pause and exhale. These are classic yin poses, but yin doesn't necessarily mean easy. It's not hard, but it's, it's holding the poses along. So you can use with restorative yoga, gentle yoga, and yoga. Restorative use more, is used with more props, which I love. From here, let's just take a nice child's pose before we go to the other side. So we're coming in to child's pose all the way down. And we'll be here for the full three or four minutes. So just take that nice child's pose. Beautiful, holding child's pose. Beautiful.
soften through the mind, soften through the thoughts. See if you can work with non-judgment tonight, non-judgment towards yourself or others or situations too. Letting go of judgment will also connect you more with your deeper soul, spirit, soul, divine, calm, whatever word you want to say for bringing down the excess um, cortisol, stress, whatever. Yeah. So as you're in this beautiful child's pose, maybe you can think about something that you're grateful for in this moment too. I'm so grateful for our club's management. I want to say that out loud and our club's owner to be so creative and without complaining about moving all these equipment outside, about creating classes outside. Um, we have a really nice facility of outdoors, but they hustled and without complaining and without making a scene, you know, they could have said, this isn't fair. And they're just gracefully with with smiles and literally joy uh, made things happen. I just really appreciate that kind of attitude. I want to say that out loud. They also took really good care of their employees during that time too. Thank you. Holding that beautiful child's pose of gratitude. So slowly as we move gently out of child's pose, and so we're here, just kind of coming slowly out, just walk your hands back so we're not hurrying through, and just coming back on the knees, taking yourself up. Yeah. Let's just take a nice upward prayer again. We're just kind of gathering, chi gathering, love. Moving in, just bringing it into the heart. And coming back into gate again. So we just take that leg to the side, slowly take that side bend. And again, I'm going to find my mat. So taking that side bend, something under your knee will be really nice. You can just fold it below. Really take that leg out if the flexibility is there. Nice, beautiful. Nice. And just continue to micro move that side bend. And again, if you need to take that break, just come back and bring your hand to the heart. Take that long, deep inhale, exhale. Maybe in this moment you can feel the subtle body. I can feel my heart beating, which is really nice to feel that. There's an honoring of our sympathetic nervous system. Yeah, it just does its thing without us telling it what to do. So that's another thing I'm grateful for. <laughs> to have to regulate things myself with my own. Um, again, thank you. Holding that weight. Beautiful, coming all the way down. And let's take this time, come into cat and cow. So we're on our knees. Just come into the belly, comes in. Yeah. Rounding up the back. And then just taking that nice arch, beautiful, just rounding, undulating the belly in. 
dropping the chin into the chest. This time, just let the head hang and let the head and the neck stretch out, shaking it out a little bit. And then arching the back again. Slowly feeling the cooler air now. It's about that time. Kathy's got her sweatshirt on now. That's so weird. I didn't even see you. And then taking, I've got my down jacket here just in case. And let's take it right from here. You can find your mat. I'm going to just move. I like the grass and then just sliding into pigeon pose here. I've become a huge fan of AstroTurf. <laughs> And coming all the way down into that reclining pigeon, yes. Some of you, once you're here, and we'll hold this for three minutes also, you can take a deeper pigeon by moving the body, upper body, into that knee that's bent in pigeon. That back leg is strong. So this will get deeper into the side of the hip. Yeah, finding that bolster for your, or block for your, supporting your forehead view. We're just going to be here at least three minutes. Softening through the eyes, softening through the mind and the brain. And even if thoughts come up that are unpleasant or judgmental or whatever, just at least notice them. Um, I find myself laughing more and more, not laughing like, but like, oh, there I go again. I'm so much more judgmental than I thought. And I'm a yoga, <laughs> like, almost like, like laughable, like, oh, wow. But just as long as we catch ourselves, in the negative mind stream, that's that's mindfulness. We just catch it, like oh, it, that's that, that's definitely an interesting, unpleasant thought that I'm thinking. Okay, <laughs> and then just shaking your head and go, there I go again. I'm human. I'm I'm human. And then you just kind of like the old saying, you know, you fall down and get back up again. Till the day you die, really. Like we'll always have these thoughts. And that's why mindfulness is so helpful to notice where our mind goes. Just managing our thoughts as opposed to not even knowing what's happening on consciousness. So slowly from this pigeon, this reclining pigeon, let's just walk our hands back, kind of undulate. Yeah, and then slowly, and yeah, we've got time, just checking time. Let's come into puppy pose here and just come all the way back. So hips are up, those of you who may be new. Beautiful puppy pose here. Thank you. 
So like a downward dog, but your hips are up. I think it's one of the most refreshing, rejuvenating, um, just such a great pose for the lower spine, hip, lower back, SI joint. Yeah. Really releases and opens up the lower back. And as you bring your hands out, it calms the central nervous system down. Another one of those great poses for gloomy thoughts, we'll call them, whether there's mild depression at times. But this is a wonderful pose of calming down the central nervous system. And slowly just bringing the body up. Let's just take some more cats and cows. Yeah, beautiful. And just slowly sliding that opposite leg through into the pigeon on the other side. Holding pigeon. Just another couple of minutes, moving deeper into that side hip if you need to, noticing what needs to be um, attended to, attended to. Yeah. slowly coming out slowly slowly and then just come right on your belly mm. i put my jacket on because it's getting cold and then hold sphinx pose yeah we're definitely gonna have to change the <laughs> class to five i'm like i'm like starting to in my my brain was going into yang thoughts of problem solving right now <laughs> and that's like yeah, right. That's exactly my mind problem solving mind that just went into. I couldn't help it. You know how I'm like, do not problem solve, do not problem solve. <laughs> Beautiful folding. Yeah, so drawing hands back. Yeah, and let's just extend all the way out. Big full body. And just spend the next minute just completely surrendering, using the breath, melting your heart into Mother Earth. And this pose, I believe, is called melting heart. But really feel the structure of your ribs around your heart, the ground below you, your body supported by the ground below you, your knees, your ankles, the tops of your feet, Top 
tops of your thighs, your femur, your ribs, your pubic bone that you may feel. So all your bones, just feeling each of the bones of your body as you lay in the open home. Slowly bringing your body up. One last puppy pose. And slowly, when you're ready, bringing your feet all the way around. Coming all the way back down. And just bring those knees back into the cell. Let's take our happy baby as our last and final pose. And when you're ready, slowly coming back and bringing your feet in, coming into our final pose of Savasana, the corpse pose. And I'll just be bringing in the crystal bowl the whole time as you're laying in your meditation. Someone's adorable dog. I think that's Diane's dog. Hey, little doggy. So holding in meditation.
Taking some nice, deep, long, relaxing breaths, noticing the fingers and toes, eyeballs, eyelashes. Those of you home, you can lay in Savasana if you'd like, you're in your space. And slowly, those who would like to come all the way seated are live people tonight. I'm just coming up to some form of seated. much for joining me this evening. Have a beautiful night's sleep, good dreams, and namaste. Thank you, Diane, Lois, Kathy, Corinne, and Julie. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Diane. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.